I realized I miss Trump. I miss Trump. I miss Trump. I said what I said. I miss Trump because the country has become boring as shit. It's so boring now. It's so boring we're paying attention to five rich guys lost in a submarine they should have never been in. That is how boring the world has become. When Trump was president, we paid attention to everything. I'll tell you something, my Twitter hasn't ever been as good as when Trump was on Twitter. That was amazing. You didn't know what was gonna happen. On Monday, Kofepe. On Tuesday, grab her by the pussy. You didn't know what was gonna happen. Every day was a new day. I don't even pay attention to, to the news now that this new guy's president, the... Biden, I forget his name. He's so boring. For all, for all the bad things that Trump gets blamed for. Let's remember the good thing. As only because of Trump, only because of Trump, can we all agree that it's a country? Only because of Trump that all of us, all of us paid more attention to the United States government than we ever did in the history of the United States? We have never paid this much attention to the government in our lives, ever. I know everything about the government. Impeachment, I know everything about impeachment. Billy, I can impeach you. Do you understand? I know everything. We never paid this much attention. Why do we all know who the 14th Eastern Congressional District Representative of the state of New York is? Why do we, the average American, know who AOC is? None of us should know who AOC fucking is. Only because of Trump. If you're so smart, who was the person before AOC? You don't fucking know. No one knows. I Googled it once, and even Google was like, I don't know, nobody knows. <laughs> Why do we all know what Mitch McConnell looks like? Why do we, the average American, knows what Mitch McConnell looks like? We never knew what he looked like before. We never knew what he looked like before. Mitch McConnell had been a vampire for 3,206 years, and none of us knew what he looked like. And now, I can point him out in a crowd. He looks like you, sir, he looks like you. You look like Mitch McConnell. Why do I know that? Why did any of us ever watch a presidential debate because of Trump? We never watched a presidential debate before Trump. Let's be honest. When everyone else ran, we didn't watch anything. We watched one president throw a shoe. We shot, we're like, we didn't watch anything. When Obama was around, I didn't even pay attention. I was like, ah, oh, he's good. I didn't even care. But as soon as Trump showed up, I started watching every presidential debate on television. I'll tell you the first one I ever watched. I'll tell you the first one I ever watched. 2016, there was a presidential debate. There was a guy named Marco Rubio, another person whose name none of us should know. He showed up and then Trump was there and Trump just showed up to the debate. I don't even think he was invited. His podium didn't even match the other podiums. He brought his own podium. He showed up with his own podium and he just started talking. And then Marco Rubio got mad and he said something to Trump and Trump said something back. And on television, Marco Rubio turned to Trump and was like, yeah, well that's why your hands are small. And on live national television, Trump turned around and said, yeah, but that's why my dick is big, motherfucker. Oh my God. I lost my mind. I was like, oh. This was the best rap battle I had ever seen in my life. From then on, fuck a Mayweather fight. This was pay-per-view.